plaintiff, Doug Koenig, says after his mate of 35 years passed away, he started frequenting the defendant's bar and it became his second home. Doug claims he loaned the defendant money for a show at his bar where Coco Montrese, a contestant in RuPaul's Drag Race, was supposed to perform, but he was never repaid, so he's suing. Defendant Corbin Ramirez insists the money from Doug was an investment, not a loan, and Doug was only to be repaid if the event made money, which it did not. Corbin is countersuing because he claims Doug and his witness have been bad-mouthing him around town. Start with you. And about September of last year, I lost my mate of 35 years and um, was pretty sad. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, and I, I went to the, this club that's close to my house, which happens to be the bar that uh, the defendant owns, and uh, was going in for a drink. Ran into some old friends I hadn't seen in probably 15, 20 years. Um, started going back. They made me feel good. Uh, met some new friends there, and that's about the time that I met um, Corbin um, at the bar. Um, it was my, my, pretty much my, my home. Uh, around January, I heard that there was some possible financial problems, and uh, Corbin had asked me if he could borrow some money to pay a bill. I said yes, and uh, had it arranged for a promissory note to be signed and a cashier's check to be made out to, his, um, to the bill person, the landlord. Um, and had them sign the papers. Um, payments would be $500 according to, oh, I have that. I see it. Do you want that? Were you the only one that could help there at the bar? I mean, you weren't the longest serving, if, if lack of a better term, <laughs> the longest drinking patron. No, I was not. Oh. No, I was not. I, in fact, this is the first time I had met these owners. I knew the previous owner right. before uh, Corbin took over. And the other patrons did not help? You well, as far as I know, no. So you were um, the only sucker. They saw you coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got a new one. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, so so I, uh, I, I did lend them the money and they promised to pay back or Corbin promised to pay back 500 a week for five weeks okay. and a $50 late fee if he missed one of those. Yep. Uh, he did sign that. Okay. Um, the first payment uh, was due on, I believe it was 15th of February and the 15th came and went, no payment. I did ask uh, for money, where is my payment? And, I was told uh, there was no money. They couldn't pay me right, in, right at the, that time. Um, then around, I guess it was the 20th of February, uh, came to me and asked me if I would reinvest that payment into a um, drag show, uh, the Coco Montrese RuPaul drag. Um, now see, I got in trouble using that term. Drag? Drag queen, they, the, the guys who were in front of me who said they participate in, there's another name that's more politically acceptable now. Female politically impersonator? Correct. Pardon me? Female impersonator. There you go, female impersonator. So don't you come in here calling anything different. <laughs> uh, you all call each other that, but it's just like black folks, they can call each other certain yes. things. <laughs> and, and women, women call each other certain things. Hey, you be, you this, you that. But you let a man call him, that is war. Yes, sir. You let a white person call us, that is war. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the way the world works, just so folks know. You know I didn't call him that. Why I can't call him that? Because you're not the same. <laughs> if you gay, you can call me that. Because I'm gay. If Thank you're you. black, you can call me that, because I'm black. <laughs> if you're a woman, you can call me that, because I'm a woman. <laughs> Go ahead. And one of the reasons, one of the reasons, Your Honor, that I, I probably did allow this to happen was because it was my newfound home. And I'm also an amateur photographer, and they had asked me to take some pictures of events or posters, things they could post on, the, uh, on their website and the internet. I, I do have some of those here. You see um, it? You so say you're doing this professionally now? No, I oh, just okay. do it for just fun. Kinda, but I, I was uh -huh. doing it for free for them just to have something to do. And there's one of the posters for an event evening. Um, it also has the uh, picture of my witness here. Oh, that's who it is? All right. I and saw then a the calendar pants shot that we never did get. jacket here. Hot dog. <laughs> Got you a female in person. And that, that is, uh, I believe, 
That's Corbin. Defendant? Yeah, right. that's uh, off his Facebook page. Now, who is this female impersonator? That's Coco Montrese of the RuPaul Drag Show on See TV. See that? There you go. Oh, well, that's oh, right, yes. but it is on the television yes. show, isn't it yes. called? Yes, sir. Drag Race. Sir, let me hear your side before we get to the loan he's suing you for. So I did borrow that money from him. Um, he did agree to reinvest it instead of making payments. So I figured that promissory note was squashed and he knew that. Say again, it sounds like you're saying you all changed the agreement. We had changed the agreement because he invested into that RuPaul drag store. And so he assumed that he was gonna get money out of us selling um, at the door. Oh, he assumed he gonna get the money from his contracts. Huh? Yeah, but he reinvested it because he thought he was gonna get more than that from the show because I expected so to make at least... how much were you to pay back? Nothing. He was going to make money from this. All right, sir. And he you... knew that. All right, and did you cancel this contract? Absolutely not, Your Honor. Did I you did agree, agree to amend the... it? No, I did not. I agreed for that first payment. Your Honor, he just told you that he Hold reinvested on. a little while ago. Hold on, he didn't say that meant you don't have to pay him. I, I did agree to in, reinvest that first payment mm -hmm, that he because gave you. somebody backed out of them and they needed okay. that much money to continue. All right. The agreement was to um, waive the $50 late fee for half the door. Okay. Sir, your counterclaim for defamation and loss of business. These two, Doug and John right here, and this witness have been what harassing. What do you call? John, okay. well, the witness right here. Mm -hmm. um, have been going around town slandering my business nonstop. Saying what? Saying that they're taking over, that they want to control my bar, telling me to get out of my bar, that I owe money, that I should get out as soon as I can. The they night want that to they control want to. your bar. They want to take it over. Telling you to get out. To get out. Calling different agencies that it takes to run a bar. Saying what? saying that, hey, you need to go check on this bar. They're doing things incorrectly. There you they go. They come and check it. Everything's perfectly fine. How do you know that? Because the calling the, and... The calling, the constant calling from all these agencies. But how do you know they were doing that? Because I haven't had anything going on since so last July. It's... I'm assuming it's them. All right. Because that's the only claim of defamation you have. Saying that they want control. They didn't say anything bad. They say, we want control of your business. Right. They say, they told you. They didn't tell a third person. They told you to get out. No, Your they Honor. told third parties as well. To get out? They weren't there. The third They've parties They've talked to my there. landlord. Pardon Your me? Honor. They've talked to my landlord where I leased the building. And told them they want you to get out? Yeah. What if they lied and said that I don't perform business correctly, that I can't keep a business open, and I have okay. kept it open. Who did they tell that to? To uh, all the other agencies that it takes to run a bar, my landlord. They tell, all they right, tell you have any evidence of that? You have one shred of evidence. No, I don't. Since Honor. they told all these people. No, you're Do you Honor. have one shred? No. Okay, and you don't agree that you told all these people that he's a bad businessman? No, Your Honor. In fact, I do have a witness statement from his landlord. I see it, please. That puts Say it what? all in perspective. Plus, I have other well, witnesses. How does it put it in perspective? You give me They're five on an pages. eviction. Pardon? They're a lockout on the 17th of this month. Scott appears to have equal authority to represent the business in his dealings with me. Okay. In March, I put on a weekly rental. Okay, so this is saying he did not meet his obligations to me as landlord. Sir, that's what your landlord says. Not them, not anybody. Nobody slandered you unless it's your landlord. Go after him if it's not true. Um, so, and loss of business is based on what you're saying as well? The Correct. slander? Yeah, sure. All right. I'm going to have to grant him his judgment, and he's taken off the $50, obviously, from what you're asking for. And the reason being is that you all have a written contract, and a written contract can only be amended with uh, another written contract. It's called a parole evidence rule in the law. If you sign something in writing, the only way the contract can be amended is in writing. And with regard to your slander and loss of business, I'm not convinced that they slandered you. You can't provide me with one shred of evidence, yet they provide me with a shred of evidence. And the landlord says you're a bad businessman. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Your Honor.
I just want to, I don't want to say anything to him. I'd like to say to everybody out there that don't lend money to these people. Uh, they're scam artists, and if you have, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I'd and like to say once these guys open a business, if they do, please don't go to it. I work for this young man, and it was, it's just quite a disappointment that I'd put up so many hopes into you, Corbin. And you truly had disappointed a whole lot of people.